The perpetrators of these hideous crimes against life were evidently commanded to not take any prisoners or claim lands for their leaders. It took us an entire day and then some more to arrive to Railfin, but the landscape along the road was hardly different to what we found in Falrori. Tortured corpses everywhere, ruined buildings, entire towns and forests burnt down. It was clear that their victims never stood a chance. All capable warriors who had been sent to the front lines in the southern regions and the borders of the Chaos Empire on purpose. Our enemies were aware of this. That's why they were awaiting the opportunity to invade the unprotected country, distracting the Grand Council with pointless skirmishes. But they couldn't smuggle their forces in and pass unnoticed. Clearly, they had found a way to teleport their massive armies anywhere, perhaps by using that damned artifact. In effect, I caused this. But once we made it to the capital region, we found out that not all was lost, or perhaps more precisely, we arrived in the nick of time. I can barely through, see through this fog and smoke, but those are the city walls. Dispel the fog. Who said that? Uh, I haven't said anything. This has only just begun. Who are you and why have you come to this capital of destruction? I know you. Aren't you? The Lady of Light. We are saved. Here, everyone. The gods have finally answered our prayers. She has returned. All hail the Lady of Light. You appear to be quite popular here. This is rather unexpected, given the circumstances of my previous return. But that was a long time ago, after all. If I'm not mistaken, you are Irelian, one of Galas's old advisers. Indeed I was, my lady, but ever since Lord Galas stepped down, I retired to this once prosperous land. The demon's assault was completely unexpected, but we are all doing our best to repel their forces. Sadly, there have been rumours that many members of the Grand Council were killed by the initial charges that destroyed the walls. The fog has lifted. Lords of Light, what has happened to the capital? Look around. Whoa, there's a ton of stuff here. Lady of Light, the Grand Council, or what remains of it anyway, sent me with a message for you, from our seer. Valen, is she? She's alive and well, but she needs your help. We all need your help. Our highest walls were struck down by strange exploding creatures of the enemy, and our scouts have spotted more of the things approaching the capital. If we are to defend Relthin, we must ensure they don't reach and destroy the main keep where the remaining Grand Council members are. Should we lose the keep? That would be a huge blow against everyone's morale. I know. I didn't expect more of them to be heading here. I saw them in action. Attempting to stop them might not have been my brightest plan. Lord Tarankin said we should take them no matter what the cost. Oh, skipped a bit of dialogue there, sorry. I'm at your service, my lady, and I presume the good people of Arfalad are as well. I suggest you reconsider your retirement. If we succeed here, I may require with your help for a personal quest of mine. But for now, we need to take down those creatures and force their leaders to retreat or else. And you will help us. Of course, my lady. It's time to get moving. All right, once again, I can recruit undead units. Aurelian and surviving militiamen of Afalad will follow you on your quest. Um, Aurelian normally only raises the corpses of wild beasts unless she can get a direct kill on a unit vulnerable to plague with her melee weapon. That means that recruited walking corpses are always of the griffin, wolf, or bat varieties. Um, all right. 
Okay, so I've got to kill the, just the Demolisher drones. Um, and either resist again until the end of turns or destroy all enemy leaders. If any of these uh, drones explode within reach of Adavian's keep, it, I will lose. Eliniania and Durban have to survive, and Irelian now as well. Okay, Adavian's keep is the initial keep in Castle Tiles where Tarankin stands. To demolish the drones, destroy and kill everything within the one hectare radius when slain. You will need to sacrifice units to achieve your goals. Okay, good thing I've got a fair amount of money then. Sounds like this one's going to be tricky. Okay, I've got a few. Two skeletons, a swordsman and an archer, um, who are loyal. Let's see if I can try and keep these guys alive, but it sounds like it's going to be difficult to keep anyone alive in this scenario. So where are the demolishers? There's one over here. They're pretty tanky. This is going to be a big, long, slow scenario, I can already tell. Okay, there is a spare keep here, so I can, later on in the scenario, come down here and recruit from one tile in the center. It would be nice if I can get rid of this law keeper and his friends before anything else gets out of hand. Okay, so I've got a few units that I could recall. Um, I'm not going to start off by recalling any of them because I think it's going to be crucial to kill these demolisher drones. So let's look at what they're resistant to. Okay, fire is good against them. Arcane is not bad, and everything else is kind of a waste of time. Uh, that's not really, and that means I'm going to have to sacrifice sprites, which doesn't give me a lot of wiggle room. I guess I should just start by recruiting a melange of uh, random units, since I don't know who's going to be able to survive and who isn't. We can aggro this one demon grunt with the archer. And send the Aurelian over there. As well as all my skeletons, my loyal skeleton archers. And Durvan and Anya. Okay, depending on how tough the orange troops are, we might want to reconsider this plan. We'll probably recruit a full castle full in the initial stage. I don't think... I think, regardless of whether it would be in principle possible to defeat the enemy leaders, I kind of feel like well, one of them is an ancient lich, Malsaltaria. That, that name rings a bell. Um, okay, yeah, so there's four enemy leaders, as well as all of these... Uh, Demolisher drones, and I am going to have to kill all Demolisher drones, so I think killing all the leaders within 20 turns seems like an unlikely prospect. Here they come! Haven't we lost enough soldiers and citizens de defending the city yet? You should have rallied any necromancers you could find in the nearby towns instead. The last one I trusted ended up betraying the Lady of Light. Well, that's what you told us. What makes you think that we can ever accept their help again? The notion that not all of them are like-minded. I'm not taking my chances, especially not now that Arnethius and Alana. Let's just proceed with the plan and be done with it. Okay, I get to control Tarankin. 
Um, I'm quite glad Arnidius is dead, because his voice was one of the ones that always caused me to cough horrifically. But um, yeah, okay, so this is going to be a slow scenario. I'm going to have to control the blue groups. Um, let's see what happens. These guys are not going to be carried over to the next scenario. Oh, great, so they're completely expendable. Um, And I've got a ton of gold. Vain Seth, the Lancer, you are lawful. No, you're not lawful, you're loyal, you're neutral. Bring you over here so that you can... Um, I probably want to keep the blue and the red troops separate, otherwise I'm just going to get confused. So I'm going to try and get rid of this one down here first. This is a very untypical scenario for this campaign designer. It's interesting because uh, usually this is a we had there are lots of sort of more RPG like. Um, skirmishy scenarios with a small number of units. Here we've got a, a very large number of units and a, a large sort of sprawling battlefield. It'll be interesting to see how it plays out. I have played this before. I thought I, I was vaguely under the impression that I hadn't played part three before. I have. I have played part three before, but um, what I have not done is, well, I've never put it on YouTube, that's for one. Okay. Um, uh, witches can witch kick. Uh, the rest of you just do what looks to be... Oops, didn't mean to do that, but never mind, that's fine. It's an archer, can use you. Um, range, uh, blade and pierce. I'll recruit one of everything for now. Uh, strong, quick swordsman, blade again. Spearman, you'll just be pierced, I guess. Yep, you'll just pierce for a strike. Um, scout, again, spear, you'll just pierce. Eagle rider! Woo, the eagles are coming. Um, you've got an impact attack, it's attack only. And let's have a witch. A witch! A witch! <laughs> going to go for several witches because witches are going to be useful for taking down the drones even though they're expensive and that depletes my gold quite a lot I'm going to keep them alive until they do what they need to do all right I think everyone's moved who needs to move you can move as well Okay, in come the drones. Alright, everyone so far has recruited a full castle. So we got ghosts, demons, and ghasts. Okay. All right. Anyone who goes and fights the demolisher drone is ultimately going to die one way or another. You folks are all pretty slow, except the ghost.
All right, good stuff. It's kind of tempting to fly straight in with Anya. She's so tanky now, um, but it doesn't seem like a good idea. She, like, she is vulnerable to arcane and uh, could take a hit or two. Good kill for this archer. You guys stop this first, demolish a drone. The one that's going to cause me grief is this one here, I think. Probably going to have to defend against it with the blue player. This will be the end of you if you do this. Then again. No one can come and poison Durban, that's good. Just gonna nip down here and try and get rid of this blood imp. Again, only the ghost is in range. Let's have more spam. Let's have more. What did I say you were good defense against? Um, you're only moderately good defense against impact. I think thugs. And a couple of sprites. Okay. Can't quite get in there to block you from this. So I'll have to probably take the fight down here. Just stick you there. You there. And that should mean... I'm more or less safe from Orange's troops this turn. If Illyrian, if Irelian goes into the fight here, she won't be much use. So probably best to keep her down here. Yeah. Okay. Time for Team Blue. We've got some level 2 blue units here. Probably the best way of dealing with this guy is just to run. Do as much damage as I can. No one can reach you. You can reach this turn. Strongbow. Be an interesting test case as to whether you stop or keep going. Come down, come down. You're pretty well hemmed in now. Get the Eagle Master in. Oh, you're pretty good. Ben Seth the Lancer. Okay, I'm going to get ready to defend up here. Don't like the storm tides. Don't like the storm tides at all. I've got nasty cold and fire attacks. Okay, probably want to get archers to fight them. Because they're going to be doing range damage and. Yes, but no one in this entire army does arcane damage, of course. I'm going to have to fight all of these guys. Maybe I should... I mean, the blue player is going to be very overstretched with this. I'm going to have to bring down, bring red in on one flank or another. Possibly this is the one that makes the most sense. But it's going to be slow, a slow process. Uh, 
At least the drones are moving faster than their support troops. Okay, you witches are pretty quick. So the three witches over here can get involved in this fight to the south. I'm gonna keep Valen up here in the center because I might need some defensive units. Okay, time for some archers because you're cheap and you're versatile. Um, archer, another witch, and that doesn't leave me with a ton of gold. 39 specifically, so I could get another witch and then an archer, a spearman, or a swordsman, and I'll go for another archer. The disadvantage of this plan is that these guys have got virtually no hit points, I think. But, uh, I'll use what we've got available to us. Torrin, Torrinkin is an absolute beast. A swords master. Um, probably if we get end up using him against these these nasty demol demolition enemies, uh, we've already lost the battle though. Okay, that's enough for blue. Okay, the drones are coming in. So the drones are going to come in fast, and I'm going to have to defeat them quickly. It probably it was probably stupid to try and fight this drone down here. It would have been actually more effective to just leave it um, to to come to me in its own time. Okay, black is out of gold. I think purple's out of gold as well. Purpley pink. Brown surely is going to have a ton of gold. Yep, brown is not out of gold yet. Okay, orange is rather pathetic troops do advance on me. There are more of them. Alright, let's get into position. You can do your pitiful, pitiful damage. Wow, you guys are all completely useless, you know that? Are you all just going to get killed? Is that, is that what's going to happen here? Well, I suspect I won't be able to kill it this turn. So I'll slow it with Durvan and then get him out of the way next turn. can be poisoned, do have to watch out for that. These some of these loyal troops are not gonna make it very long. Oh. 
That's more more useful. Ow. Okay. Just run away, get some healing in. And you. Okay, I'm going to send these two sprites this way. The two thugs are going to go this way. Get some ghosts to go down south. And a foot pad. In fact, I don't know if they're going to go down south. Um, it's not clear. Oh, I'm in range of the leader. That could be a fatal error. We'll see. A lot of units coming at me from this side, including a drone. Not liking that one bit. But your first priority, man, is to basically suicide yourself onto this drone. They just have to have the poison special, don't they? Oh, what about you? Can you reach? Yes, you can. Okay. done this and I don't need once this is dead I don't need anyone else down here so all you guys who are heading in this direction back right up and go the other way I'm far too slow to catch me good south I can defend the water line that's fine up here I'm a little more concerned of defend along this front. spam level 1's down this way, because they're going to very, very soon need to deal with this drone. I want to hold fire on recruiting anyone else, because I don't want my income to suffer. and I'll be able to reinforce when the reinforcement is relevant. But two of the drones look like they're pretty neutralized. Um, question is whether Anya and Irelian are also going to be neutralized by Orange. Huh. Interestingly, the drone didn't come for me, so I wonder what its game is. Oh, 
Well, at least they're attacking me during the day. Gotta find something to like about this situation. Necromancers can be boys and can't they? Run away! Okay, you're really irritating because now you make it much harder for me to get a proper surround on this stupid demolisher drone. Maybe I can kill it without doing that. Decent damage so far? Yep, you're dead. That was expected. Come on! There we go. Okay, that took out three level ones. That's fine. Gonna need to continue taking these fights down here though, because otherwise... my heroes are gonna die. Could have been smarter about that. These two archers look like they're in distinctly rubbishy situations. Maybe... would it help if Durvan joined them? <laughs> um, maybe Durvan can... Come up here and uh... oh, you'll just get poisoned. Can I kill the ghost? It would be nice to kill the ghost. Probably this is a case of the best defense is a good offense. <laughs> All right, you're on ten health. Uh, no, you can't do it, but you can. Club of this archer. You hop back one square. You come down here. Show me you guys aren't any faster. You can't uh, get this village for me. You shoot the the ghost, and maybe you won't die. But next turn you'll die. No, you don't die anyway. You can 
can get around the back. That's not good. Should I try and... Can I? No, these guys can't. They're not fast enough to block. Damn it, I didn't think of that. Red player's need for gold is greater than the blue player's need for gold. Must remember to get troops. Gonna need healing. And some more fast units that can head to the main base. Because these guys, if they survive at all, should hopefully take the fight on this flank. Get Nalan back because he's loyal. And now we're really running out of uh, out of money. What we can do is send Alinea down towards the main base as well. Might confuse or distract the orange player. We can dream. Alright, we got our first drone kill. Let's see if we can get our second. Should be able to. You're going to die anyway. You step back in case you're not needed. In fact, all of you pretty much step back in case you're not needed. Not quite. Then you're the best, the next best bet for this, so you run away. Oh, it destroyed the village! That's annoying. Did it say it was going to do that? Everything. Destroy and kill everything within an X, X radius. Okay, fine. Sigh. <laughs> No point trying to defend down here, you go back up towards the main base and everyone else make a beeline for that neck of the woods as well. Including this poor old poisoned eagle master. Where's the nearest house for him to go and sit on? Go across the water, that way you won't get busted. That'll do on that flank. Um, first job here is to get rid of... So I can hold down here. You're coming round to the bridge because you're a sneaky little bastard. This, I think, is inspired by a, an episode of Avatar The Last Airbender where there is a massive drill heading for a city's walls. Um, but then again, that's not where that plot was originated either, so... Maybe this is where Tarankin himself comes out of his keep to fight. That was useless. You step back, you come in. Okay, you've got 13 hit points left. Don't, I want to use someone good to get this kill, if there's anyone good left around here. doesn't. I don't think there is. Okay, you're good. So you come down here, and you take that position, and kill this demon zephyr. Perfect. Right, now... The trick is to kill a storm tide. This is where I think Tarankin can do a good job. 
he will be able to be open to attack by the other storm cup the other storm tide and a skirmisher and the drone um, so maybe I'll just have to protect him if I do this but I don't think anyone else is going to be as successful at getting the kill as he is so he, he might he probably won't but then I can that was very poor someone can come out here into the water um, you would be good for this but you can't reach unfortunately the spearman friend so I think the only person who's up to the task is this normal archer but he does an absolute bang up job which means it's a shame that he's gonna get killed by the storm the other storm tide next turn hmm Okay, you just come out here into the water and block Tarankin. At least the one positive thing about being here is if you attack me in the water, then you will be in the water to be attacked. You're going to come over here, aren't you? Hmm. I don't know what all these witches are doing up here. They don't be any use there. Um... Put you in position where you can heal this guy and possibly Tarankin if he's in need. Am I gonna try and I don't really need to defend this point at the moment, so instead I'm gonna do like that, and then that makes it harder for the storm tide to get any kind of her chase. worried about what orange is going to do this turn. If I can survive this turn, I should, 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 should be fine. But Irileth is looking dangerously weakened. Ah! The archer survived! What are the odds of that? But unfortunately the brown player still has to move, and I still think I think the brown player still has a unit, a skirmisher there who's gonna get the kill. Yeah. Alas. F in the chat. Now the uh, the demol demolition dude is in deep water, and I mean that literally. Which means it's gonna have rubbish defense. Okay, they're not going for the attack on... Okay, you are. But you're not going to do any damage. You poisoned Durvan. Why, oh why, is anyone stupid enough to attack skeletons? Unless they have impact damage or fire or arcane. units down here. You can't reach any of them. You can reach some of them. No real point attacking you because you'll be too difficult to take out. So you come round here. Okay, that was a terrible performance from you. Hopefully my ghost can take out the enemy ghost. What about you? Can you know? Maybe this is what Irelian should be doing. If, if the units in front of her can then survive. We'll try it.
Yes. Awesome. Now, for this plan to work, Anya needs to come up here and ideally take out this demoness. Be good if it got softened up a bit first, though. And this ghost can reach. Do you get the easy kill on the demon, or should you go for the blood and try and do more damage? Or even this guy. So the weakness in my line is currently this, because this person will could die. But so far there's the the remaining troops are only blade attack units that are relatively weak. <laughs> I just had to make life unnecessarily difficult for myself, didn't I? Alright, you come down here and attack this guy. <laughs> You come over here and attack this guy with, with your whale. Have a whale at a time. And I think, if all goes well, that should protect my heroes from death. You go and join the main battle. Uh, as should you. I should everyone up here actually. Everyone except you, you stay where you are and get health. Can any of these, is there any sneaking they can do? No there isn't really. The worst thing they can do is suicide on Anya or try and take out this guy. The leader could come out of his house, that could be quite nasty. So it might be good to have you in position in case that happens. Yeah, alright. Even though you're weakened. And another ghost. Just in case, you'll be able to make it back to the battle anyway. Are you guys going to go in and fight this headhunter? Why not? No one else can reach other than this puny imp. Unfortunately, it's not going to die. It's going to be pretty successful. Um, okay, I'm going to put you there. You're not in any danger. Not compared to my other heroes, anyway. So much unpoisoning to do if this battle goes my way. Alright, first things first, I'm going to try and find a way to take out this Demolisher Drone. Um, Everyone's pretty much done max damage, which is cool. You're loyal, so it'd be a shame to throw your life away like it meant nothing. And actually, amazingly, this Demolisher Drone's got 50% defense in water. This guy is a very happy camper. 
going to keep stealing my villages. I guess I should recruit now. Uh, well, let's just see if I can kill this drone. That's a strong bow. I'd rather not waste you, but am I going to need to? You've got the best chance of hitting. If you can do it on your own, which you might. No, not even close. Okay. No, no point doing that. All right. There's some very wasteful strategic choices here that are going to lead me to be very much weakened with my blue forces. Maybe I should just leave the leave the drone be rather than suicide more units. For now. Valen, you're really very paper thin. Then again, there's not much else here in the north, unless the drone comes and suicides on you. Oh well, let's try it. Will you ease my mind to have this bugger out of the way. Didn't work. Don't know if I was using magic against someone in the water. but you're not out of the game yet. And anyone who goes in the water to face you is going to be in trouble. Then again, it's going to be daytime. Then you guys just stand here. Don't do any don't do any any funny business yet. We'll put a witch behind you. Put you there. You are being clever, aren't you? Or you think you are. Okay, this guy, is his job now is to die distracting horsemen. Die distracting horsemen does include killing them, so good job. You, I think, will also... You'll die distracting the drone. Well, distraction really is the key word there, isn't it? Come over here. You go and grab that house. Oh, we've got the Chaos Gunner here. Very badass looking unit with a cool hat. And a 10 2 gun attack. We'll put you there, and I'm going to just sub you in on the front lines to do some impact damage to this guy. Okay, hope you don't die. Maybe you will. You're only level one. Doesn't matter. Be careful over here. What do I want to defend? What do I want against regular chaos? Probably blade and pierce. So more archers. Um, can only afford two more units, so... Want to be an eagle rider. And another archer. Can you just come around here in case... 
by some miracle any of these guys survive. And Tarankin, you can just about stay where you are, I think. Okay, rip this guy. Maybe he'll take out the other horsemen, he could. These guys are pretty powerful. And you're at least slowed. Wah, wah. Is this guy actually sending a Chaos Law Keeper my way, or is that a Magus? Well, okay. up there. Too much, too much speed. Okay, orange. poison damage in the universe. Okay, so you're on 1 health, you're on 6 health, you're on 8 health, you're on a mighty 9 health, and you're on 1 health. So, let's see what we can do. You're out of the way. So this is risky, and I don't really want to plague you. I knew I'd be punished for that choice. Okay, you got the kill, you're on one health. Question is strategy for taking out the leader. Who's going to be good at that? Normally, I would say the person with the slow attack, but the person with the slow attack could get zapped to death at this rate. You got a kill, which is good. Maybe I'd best just zone of control him until the short dark is over. Should be able to do that at least. You need to come down and heal these guys. There is an archer as well. So I can go zone of control with this fodder thug and Uh, it's a bit ropey though. And the zone of control won't work if someone kills the thug, which this archer might well do. Maybe I should try it with a ghost instead, but then the ghost will get zapped by the leader. Ah, oh, there is no perfect solution. No way! Oh, the odds of that were... Ah! Oh, no way! Ah! 
I had to miss with my second and third attack, and he had to hit with all three of his. No way. Okay, well you... this zone of control thing isn't going to work. What happens if you go here? No, your, your range is still the same. Um, don't actually need to zone of control you. Don't mind if you go back to your keep all that much. Yeah, alright, well I might lose this archer if they decide to be super aggressive. Um, and by super aggressive I just mean aggressive at all. Um, would it be better if I plonked you onto this house? Yeah, that would be better, that would distract. You, you'll still, you can still die, you can, anyone can still die, but... Alright, this fight is looking less good because it's the night time. Want to pull back a bit. I want to leave you there. Or you there, to be honest. I can only move one of you. Well, you go... If you go back one, you can only be attacked by one person at least, and then you can go in the tower, and Linear's on the castle. Alright, that's that looks good. Pfft, what a ridiculous battle. Okay, time for... it's a shame that you're not standing next to this level 3 Demoness Stormtide. But it's the time for you to go down, my friend. Okay, it didn't destroy that tile. You're still alive. And that means there's just one more drone to protect from. So this should be a more or less straightforward defensive endeavour from here on in. Not super confident though, there are a lot of Chaos units around. Okay, you have a reprieve. You can maybe even get back to base. Wow, what a legend this guy is. He's survived fighting off the uh, drone down here. He's the only person who did. Killed two horses and is still in the running. You're quite good, you're looking at getting a level soon, so I might try and keep you alive. Gotta watch out being attacked from the north now. What's best at dealing with this lady? Definitely melee attacks, but uh, melee attacks that hit are usually preferable. Oh, you again, this is a situation where I could bring Tarankin down, but I don't want him to get chop, chop, chopped with flame attacks next turn. Can I count on him doing enough damage? So if he can get three hits out of five, which is what he ought to be averaging, then someone else can get the kill. If he can only get two hits out of five, then it's going to be tricky for anyone else to get the kill. I'll do it. Alright, that's the three. And Eagle Riders aren't terrible over water, so I can use you for this. Cool, cool. Got to worry about you. Because you're a strongbow, good. You can kill that in one hit. Uh. 
Take advantage of a rare opportunity to fight this uh, this dude who's in the water. This is a great defensive position against Brown. I must not lose it. Okay, got to defend in the north as well. Well, actually, that should do it because no one else is fast enough. Who needs the healing? Tarankin needs the healing the most. So you stay next to him and next to him. Uh, maybe this guy can move on over here and you can just hop onto there. You come down here in case anyone gets hurt on this flank. And this drone is going to move north. And when it does, I will be there to give it a good bashing. So that was 50% to hit. Knew you would pull that. Still, that was a good good attack. And everyone else is ignoring me up here, so. Oh, I didn't even notice you. Hello. Lucky there. So now it's the morning. I've lost my level ones. <laughs> this seems like a reasonably okay bet. Yeah, not bad at all. Okay. And we've got our own strong bow. Fantastic. And Irelian finishes it off. And not forget about you. Now, I think the smartest thing you can do, Alinea, seeing as space is running out down here, is probably just get across the river. But Which is easier said than done, because the northern flank's controlled by Black's level 1 troops. 
and purple's coming in hot. Purple really is coming in hot, that's a lot of dudes. So if Alinea goes here, both the knight, who does quite a lot of damage, 9-4, and the magus, 7-4, will, all, will both be able to attack her if they want to. I'm just going to hope that they don't. Uh, even if they can, they won't kill her. Still got a job to do up here though. I'm not so lucky this time. There we go, and these three between them should easily be able to take out this one bowman and then progress southwards to join the main force. These guys, <laughs> what they're gonna do next? Uh, nothing hugely exciting, I'm sure. Okay, let's play Try Not To Die as Blue. Only one drone left. But I have to not lose so many units that my entire flank gets completely kiboshed. Yeah, that was good. I'm safe down here for now. You're safe for now. You're a pikeman. that might happen. You should die next turn. job. You come back and get health. You take out this bat. Amazing that they didn't kill the imp in the water. doesn't get me any retaliation. Up here this bowman is in range, and as is this headhunter, but no one else really is. You guys are going to get some ground, but that's actually okay, I don't mind if you want to do that. would like to keep this village though.
These witches need a ton of experience to level. That's not great. Put you in the woods. Does that make any difference? Oh yeah, it does. It means that you can get round. Okay, I won't do that. Now you come down here. Blue's forces are looking very sparse now. Elinia can even recruit from Tarankin's keep if I move him. That might end up being the wisest choice. The two heroes fighting back to back. have that many units, they're just awkwardly distributed. Black does seem to be distracted by me in the north, which is good. I'm taking losses in the south, and brown is still quite strong. Ah, oh, crud. Ah, oh, crud. It's all coming apart now. Now over here, Anya, you grab this village, and next turn you can be in the thick of it. Used the leadership there, it would have been the same outcome without it. I'm holding the Tower of Silence. You can go and grab that very slowly. You folks all stay where you are. No safe path for you to run down. Oh, you're in danger if you stay there. You're going to get nobbled by the Knight of Chaos. You got pretty badly whacked by Alinea last turn, though. For shame. Uh, none, none of the purple units can reach... What are the precise victory conditions here? Okay, the Demolisher drone has to explode within reach of Adavian's keep. Um, that shouldn't happen. So here we can recruit something to fight Chaos. A Skeleton Archer is usually a good bet. Though right now it's just going to get zapped by this stupid Magus. Maybe I can do something to deal with that. Mm. Hmm. And then you hop into the forest where you have better defense and are invisible. I don't want you to go north and get that village. But I guess if you do, I can just kill you next turn. It'll still be daytime. Oh. 
Good start. Not dead. Oh, tell me I can get someone else in range. Uh, no, I can't. Hmm. What about you? Ah, yes, you can get in range. Shane, you're about to level. Very well. The last one of those bastards is down. Sorry, that was too Scottish. Okay, resist or defeat? I think I'm going to go for resist. <laughs> Mind you, we'll see, we'll see if these units, if these enemies expend their resources foolishly. Um, so, got to hold to the north. If I just leave these units here, that should be fine. Um, what shall I recruit? I feel like the archers... Their weaknesses, they're not very powerful. I mean, we've got a spearman, and uh, they are powerful. I want to try and get some terrain back over here. is safe down here but I think this village should be and finally Tarankin wherever you go you need to be able to defend um, you should leave Give me some scope to... I could put you on this village. I feel like you could take that fight. Um... I mean, these guys on their own are not going to kill you during the day. So yeah, if they want to attack you, they can go for it. Just need to get Alinea there so that she can recruit a ton of units and help defend. Yeah, that was predictable. Hugely effective. Good thing about the daytime. Okay, they're not. They're definitely not going for Tarankin. They're too scared of the big man. But purple is a is a worry, and he's got a lot of villages. Black is hedging his bets, which is probably good. He's going to try and beat the shit out of all these dudes down here. Red. What's red going to do? That's the question. Resist until end of turns or defeat all enemy leaders? I 
Right, this guy here is totally undefended, so I should have, shouldn't have any trouble going in and just whacking him. These guys just have to be a kind of assassination squad. Okay, you got the kill in the end. I wonder if I'll get to keep these these guys, these loyal troops. Okay, so... This is the fate of the Northerners. And people in the center, Alinea will see when she gets to high up first. No. I don't have any villagers down here, that's a shame. It's going to be hard to remedy that too. It's tempting to plonk you in the forest over here and uh, do a double whammy on this Magus and Chaos Knight, but I don't know how much damage I'll be able to do over here. At least not this turn. Maybe later. For now. You guys are basically out of the battle, but actually... You could go across that shallow patch there. Try and take out the purple leader. Purple's not got a vast number of troops. I mean, that's, it's optimistic of me to say that, because purple's got more troops than I think anyone else on the map, apart from possibly blue. But red will soon have some troops on the map as well, because it's coming up to second midday. It's going to be night time soon. And what I need to fight off this kind of chaos troop is some skelly archers. Only the invokers will prove a problem to them, so I'll try and kill the invokers this turn with blue's troops. Should get one normal skeleton as well. And a foot pad. Still got some gold income. You'll have to stay where you are. Blue! Can you do 20 damage? You can, you, you can do that with three hits. There we go, and you can be a guard. Sounds sensible. Oh, a long swordsman. Guards are really tough, so that seems like a good choice in this situation. Great work from Torankin. He's good for some things. Oh. 
Okay, the Chaos Knight is more or less out on a limb. Can just stick someone here to defend. You look pretty close to a level as well. Um, you need to get the hell out of there. Ah, uh, you can be reached. Oh no, this can't be the end for you. Surely this can't be the end for you. No, no, retreat, retreat into the forest. Well, you can't be reached, and maybe I can even lure this guy away. Gah. Oh no, my Eagle Master might go down this turn. There's not so many brown troops left. There is that. You can go back and get healing from Elenia. Ah, uh, that opens up my flank to this stupid drone who might come around and attack my guard. But if it does, it doesn't matter. Not greatly so. You want to do some melee attack during the daytime? Alright, good. Well, not good exactly, but not terrible. Not imminent danger of death, terrible. Oh, you jammy bastard. You just wait till Tarankin gets his hands on you next turn. Or those skeleton archers. They'll make you pay. I'm looking at the cold light of day, looking at these guys coming in from the north. They're actually pretty crummy. Oh no! Okay, he's going north. And you've got the, that village for me, that's good. Okay, this is all kind of linked up now as battles go. You can't do anything this turn. You can you can just about reach this. I mean, you were going to be a fodder unit anyway, and it's the middle of the day, so it's a great time for you to go on suicide. Or maybe it's not so suicidal. <laughs> Can't believe you missed that. Yeah, that's a real bummer, but uh, at least I can... These Chaos units are blocked on the bridge if I put Anya here. I don't think they can kill her.
This guy now has a chance to kill the sprite. You hole up there. You can start joining me next turn. And now it's over here that I'm going to need to worry about. Alinea can hire one more unit. Send one archer out here. Still is not the most effective against skeletons. This is something that uh, I think we knew. Uh... Where are you going to go? Who should you fight? Probably makes more more sense to give Alinea the money rather than blue, so I could put you on a village. Like this village that this guy is going to get. And create another Skelly Archer. And then Alinea gets to fight. That's it for red. And now it's blue, so... Kill, but uh, near as damn it. Uh, Brown's forces are looking very depleted now. There's a one lone archer coming out over here. There's this guy who's going to run into one of my red troops. And once you've got some health, you can come north and help me take him on. For now, you'd best stay where you are, Sonny Jim. Strongbow here. You're a pain in the ass. You're nearly dead. What do I want up here? Another eagle rider? Seems like that would be good. Maybe another witch for the healing. But I've got um, I've got a linear around. Okay. That was poor. That was also pretty poor. 
We want you to come over here and heal. Can anyone attack you there? No, it doesn't look like it. And then you... You'll take less damage fighting this guy. Oh dear. Alright, now you, Tarankin, your job is... Chaos Invoker Suppression. And you do a grand job of it too. Okay. Purple is starting to trickle units because he's got a lot of villages, but that's fine. Okay, I think that's it for Blue's movement. My defensive lines more or less collapse, but then again the enemy players are not exactly high on uh, unit numbers. This little squad of blacks here is, is causing me a spot of bother, but hopefully I'll have it cleared up soon without taking any major casualties. Ah, oh, that's a shame. She was experienced. Not that I'll get to keep her till next scenario anyway. Oi! Off my key! That's just rude. Okay, Alinea, um, Anya gets her next upgrade. An extra melee strike might be nice. Um, an extra chill strike would be extremely nice. What about abscond? What does that do? Survive one fatal hit every other turn. Set back to 8 HP and 2 under its maximum movement points. Wow, that's awesome! <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, let's have that. I wonder, I wonder if it works. It seems like the kind of thing that might bug out. Okay, they're gonna gang up on this strongbow. Ah, but he did grand before he died. slow through the water. Makes me really think that you ought to go round. Alright, let's try and rob the black player of some experience, at least. Um, and by experience I obviously mean villagers. For some reason I said the wrong thing. Is that a village? No, it's just a temple. You can't quite get into combat, which is a shame. And well, you can't get into combat. Good. I guess. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, you're trapped. I want to kill you. Good work. You're blocked in, and you'll probably die to Blue's troops. You can come down here, join the fight. And we've got a few units in the south. A few drones hanging around in the south too. I want to swap you around, you're fighting the wrong enemies. getting shot, which is handy. But she can't recruit because the keep was taken. Try and stop that from happening next time. Note to self. Alright, Red's troops are all over the shop, but I think we've got this in the bag, more or less. The, uh, the main issue of concern is that there are a ton of purple enemies in my base and it's coming up to night time. I'm going to leave you where you are. You're not really a threat to anyone. Not easy to kill you guys, is it? Flipping drones. Should I suicide this guy? Seems like he's too valuable to lose like that. Question is who I want you to go for. There's a lot of useful things that you could in principle do. Oh poor old you, are you gonna even survive? Not likely. Now you're a marksman, so you could do that. But then you could probably get him anyway. Ah!
You can't reach anyone? Good. Uh, you can start to come north and grab these villages off brown. Deep cover agent here. And you... Sadly... Yeah, no. If you can, if you can get the kill. There we go. You actually shouldn't instantly die. At least no one can range you yet. Still quite a lot of enemy units around though, so have to be a bit careful saying things like that. Everyone's going to be keen because you're on high experience. One down. Oh, get off my village. You pest. Purple can't do much that's useful though. Neither can black. Brown's gonna focus down my archer. Okay, another unexpected kill. What does this statue do? I bet there'll be a little blurb that doesn't actually tell me much. You're speedy. Good work. You guys are <laughs> almost back up to full health as you trek across the entire map. Oh, and you can be joined by Rogar the Swordsman, who's been running around capturing villages, who's also on low health. It's the Low Health Club. You archers aren't able to do that much that's useful, so try and kill this guy. Oh wow, not bad. Okay, there's no purple in the near vicinity. Alinea can't recruit much because she's because Valen's blocking the recruitment spot. She can come down and help fight these drones though. That's pretty weak. Okay, you're not dead, but you're close to it. And this guy's almost dead as well. Any other red troops around? Mm, only you. You can run down, get closer to the center of the action. Or go and join this squad that you were with. All right, the shattered remnants of blue. Oh. 
right, the guard does his job and guards. This strongbow is going to grab a house, and he can grab another one next turn. And the only unit left in range is this guy. And Valon does a number on him. You can start grabbing me some villagers back. Um, yeah. You could recruit another dude, your income's not going to make much difference anyway. You grab that village back from the purple player. And we'll have the swordsman. They were they seem to be good before. They do a lot of damage anyway. And we go there. Okay, the middle's been held. Um, <laughs> you may want to skip the next eight turns because it's probably not going to be hugely exciting. Maybe I'll try and kill some of these leaders, but um, no way I'm going to get all four of them. Um, actually, it's only three now, isn't it? Mm. Still, just the, just sheer in terms of the technicalities of moving so many units, I don't think it's going to happen at this point. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. I'm going to advance if I can. Purple's the only one that really is anything other than a paper tiger at the moment. Okay, you don't die. Durban is back in the fight. This is weird, it's like a little keep, but with no other tiles around it. How odd. Okay, and we have a hero. So we've got both a captain and a hero now. I like that. You go and get some health. And down here, we can get a little bit more experience for our loyal strongbow. Now these guys are going to head towards the purple leader in good time. Elenia needs units that can kill at this point, so that would be ghosts. Maybe even a recall at this point. A fire fairy, if she's really going to if I'm really going to go on the offensive. Then again, it's just going to hurt my income, isn't it? Probably better not to, just to, to go with what I've got. Can Blue, does Blue have the troops to take out the, the brown leader, the Ancient Lich? If so, I might, might, might be able to do this. Okay, well, let's have you anyway. And that's enough for recruitment. Hop into the forest.
Oh, you're an Armageddon imp. Okay. Yeah, that that really kind of settles it. <laughs> I'm not gonna not gonna be able to defeat you. Well, even with even with Anya. Lots of skeletons is what's needed to fight Armageddon imps. We just grab this village off blue. And you stay out of range of the invoker. Boy, you don't punch Tarankin. He's not a fan of that. Now these guys are going to come in and do quite a lot of pierce damage to my Can I click you there, yeah. So okay, you can you can shoot Tarankin and he'll be undefended, but Probably not wise, you can put a healer here. You run up here. Get some of these far away villages. You go and stand next to Alinea, get the healing. And you come here ready to fight the drone. And you just sit tight and get the remaining hit points back. You're so cool. What a legend. What a legend. It's a shame that none of these blue units will be around in the future. Double shot on Tarankin, even in the forest. Not nice. Okay, six turns left. quite reach that village. folks spread out and capture villages.
Okay, this guy's found his mojo all right. No one else from this, this team can reach him. You almost can. Don't want you to get ghosted, so you go there. You grab this village so that Blue doesn't have any resources at all, pretty much. You... Your job is to come down here. What are you going to do, Alinea? There's no way I'm going to reach you in six turns, is there? Maybe I should send you up north to help out, actually, against that Armageddon Imp. Because I'm sending level 1 and 2 units against it. Yeah. If anyone can take that out, you can. And you can slow, which none of those others can. Fireball beats gone any day. So I can back on Invoker Suppression duty. My newly acquired swordsman does a good day's work. to the one remaining blue village and get some health. And you can stay where you are and gradually... Oh no, you can go to that village. That's cool. Oh, and you! What about you? Ensuring that blue's income isn't terrible. Purple is continuing to trickle very annoyingly towards me. One health! You guys are so slow. Oh, I left you to, you behind down there. That's okay. You can come back next turn. Nothing in the temple. Grab the houses from the Armageddon Imp.
You're slightly more expendable, so you can go on ahead. And you just hop down behind with the linear. Meanwhile, I'll just give you the experience. You guys are all too slow to do anything useful again. Eagles. I presume this money is not going to carry over either. And now you can't get to the right spot anyway. So you just hop down there and you can go there. Wow, nice luck.
What are you doing? Go back up and join the other blue troops, otherwise I'll get confused. You're quite speedy anyway. Eight movement, fastest unit on the map, apart from these riders. Here the boss man's come out of his fort, and Alinea can range him. She will get poisoned. It's not the worst thing in the world. Okay, slowed and stunned. You come up here and give these skeletons some bonuses. If you attack and don't die, you ought to level up. You're a sprite. You're probably the most useful person to get the uh, leadership bonus. And you. Mighty have fallen, dealing one damage. Everyone here is poisoned apart from the undead. There are villagers around, we'll be able to fix that. You could be a shadow, that would be cool. I think I need a wraith more at this point in the campaign though. The next turn we should be able to get that kill. Oh, pants. Oh, you're a boss, Avathan. Okay, uh, you're coming. I'm not fast enough. this way. That's not your turn yet. Probably don't want to go that way, do you? I'll go this way. You're too slow. You're not too slow. Hey. 
is your saga going to end with Marcel Terrier coming out of their keep and owning you during the day? Let's hope so, because if that happens, I should be able to zone of control you. Oh, yes. Oh, let's get an F in the chat. It was a grand performance from Valfin. Survived the destruction of a demolition drone and only to die like that. <clears throat> okay, so what's going on up here? First of all, slow time. Okay, we can't get the slow, no biggie. Let's sacrifice some units. Fantastic work. Okay, northern team is done. You run south. Everyone else kind of hang around, really. You can get unpoisoned. You can just... You can go through deep water, so I guess you can move. And you stay where you are. Income's looking great. Troops not looking very quick, but well, that's the usual scenario. aggressively get Purple's villages. Too slow, I think, to do anything useful, though. Unless I can lure him out, and then I can maybe get him in turn 20. Well, I could get him now if he decides to come out. Darius Pelnoth. What a silly name. slow over here. Should this be enough units? <laughs> There's only one boss, but ancient liches are just so flipping terrifying, you can never quite be sure. See what I mean?
You're still poisoned, poor Alinea. Oh, you can fly across too. Useful. Really, the strategy is just, insofar as there is a strategy, is run with everyone as fast as I can and hope this cataphract will come out and try and fight me. And then I'll have to one-shot it, which is not going to be easy. Time for blue. Just gonna save here because ancient liches can do some strange things. That's what's a real shame now is that he's got a drain attack. I mean, these prey crush impact attacks are gonna be pretty awesome, but. None of it's any good if he can gain back as much damage as he deals. So let's use the archers first. Could go in and fireball him, but it's risky. Oh, well, that was good. Can you do that too? Yes. So. Yeah! All right, Ancient Lich down. You go grab that village, and then I think we're done over here. You grab that one. Hmm, okay, one leader to go. Let's see if he comes out of his keep. He does. The trees don't protect you, Sylvan Essence. Um, oh yeah, you don't unpoison. Okay, well you, sit, you, you just sit there, sit tight. You guys grab as many villages as you can off the blue player, which is to say none basically, I think, one. Now down here, trouble is the arrangement of troops is kind of suboptimal. Let's save the game again. Hmm, 
that might have been my best chance lost already. There's this flipping chasm in the way, and now I can't reach. Yep, yeah, no, not gonna happen, sadly. Unless he suicides. Okay, that makes you either a great bow or a slayer. I feel like a slayer is slightly more likely to survive. Precision is not the most fantastic ability. Yeah. Ghost for zone of control purposes. And unfortunately, <laughs> with one enemy, one wounded enemy leader left, that is where <laughs> that's where I'm gonna not quite succeed in the objectives of this mission. Um, and that's a real you know, I, I should have just been a bit speedier earlier on, but um, I didn't do too badly. What's actually what, what's the bonus? Uh, di early finish bonus. I mean, I. <laughs> Doesn't make any difference at this point. Okay, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Okay, bring it. Okay, I guess. Blue gets Blue's turn. <laughs> the Fiend's Retreat. That's rather odd. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I agree to heaven. <laughs> this one dude <laughs> is the only person that's left on the battlefield. Look to the northeast! Ha! It was about time! 78 bonus gold. Well, that's not a huge amount. Hopefully, the next scenario won't be too hard. Well, um, that was a long slog, and I won't uh, even though I only got two advancements, and they both were on the. Uh, okay, that was the. That was, this is statistics for Tarankin's team. A lot of losses, 21 losses. Um, and I don't, I guess I don't get statistics for the red player. No, that's a shame. Um, well, there we are. Lovely scenario, big, brawling, sprawling battle. Who are these people who've just come? Unarie. Oh, she's an avatar now. That's pretty boss. Okay, well... Oh man, it's been a long one. Um, I need some uh, beauty sleep, and so I'm going to stop there. Have a nice evening, or morning, or afternoon, or wherever you are, or whatever it is. Make sure it's good, and please leave a like on the video if you enjoy what I do here. Um, otherwise, I'll be back with you in the next video.